Right folks, continuing our uh, holiday theme of videos, like that, um, we often go to a place called Southwold. If you've never been to Southwold, you should go to Southwold. It is a lovely little seaside town. Uh, they've got a pier and they've got a beach and they've got a lighthouse and they've got cannons that don't work anymore. But the dog looks like likes to look down them, don't he June? He does. The dude likes to look down the cannon. He'll look at the cannon and he'll shove his head in the cannon, but there's nothing there. And uh, not that it would bother him if there was something there, to be fair. And anyway, um, at Southwold, they've got this uh, uh, bakery. And um, it's called Two Magpies Bakery. I have no reason or explanation why it is called that. I maybe should have looked it up. Uh, but, we've, who, was that the dog? <laughs> the dog's settling down, he's a bit tired, the lurcher. Um, th they've got this excellent cake shop bakery thing, it is absolutely tremendous. It'll probably be one of the best bakery cakery things that you'll ever, ever go into. They have one in Southwold, they have one in Al, is it Albra? Oldborough. Oldborough. And they've got a bakery school in Darsham. They've Darsham. got a bakery school in Darsham. So you can, if you just pop in down the A, uh, what is it, the A140 or something, I can't remember what it is. Uh, if you're going down that way and um, it's there, you'll see it, you'll see it, there's signs, it's a big massive place and um, they've got a shop there, so I suppose all the students that, who are experimenting and making their new cakes and their new designs, uh, I suppose they just shovel them in the shop and let you lot try them, or us lot try them. Uh, they've got an info at twomagpiesbakery.co.uk. Um, we came here about six years ago. Seven. Is it? Seven, we came that first year. Right Righto. First year in October. Oh yeah, that's it right, it was, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, stuff, yes, it? it was. It was in the, it wasn't a summer holiday, it was a later holiday that was. And, um... Uh, we popped down to Southwold just to have a look and we found this bakery and every time we come over this way now we go into this bakery, it's absolutely good. Um, June's had a, what you had June? Peak and tart. Ooh, money in my bag. £2.50, £2.50 folks. Uh, put that in the ashtray for uh, car parking. Uh, what did you have, a peak and tart? Peak and tart. What else did you have? I had bread uh, pudding bread or something. Bread and butter pudding. Uh, pudding. Bread and butter pudding. And then I had an almond and something slice. She had an almond and something slice. And uh, you know what it's like. You Not go all out. in one go. I didn't have all that in one go. Not all in one go. She got, She had a space of about five minutes between each one. <laughs> and uh, James, what did you have? Cheese straw. Um... Yeah, Ginger had a cheese straw. And that also looked very nice. It was about a foot long cheese straw uh, and it looks suspend uh, so Trent t t t uh, it looked really good <laughs> and if you see the light on me I feel like I'm being interviewed by the Gestapo here because it's a little bit dark and June's t we've got this like spotlight thing in the corner and she turned it around on me and she said, I, do, I really do feel like I'm being interviewed by the uh, Gestapo or somebody on Allo Allo um, so I've had what have I had I've had a meringue I always call them mangarines. I don't know why I call them mangarines. It's because I'm thick, useless, and stupid. Uh, and I call them mangarines. But, what's that, a mangarine? Manga uh, a tangerine. No, not a tangerine. What? Why do I call them mangarines? Because I actually went into the shop the first year I went to bought them. I said, I'll have a couple of your mangarines. And the, the girl looked at me gone out. And then I looked at her gone out thinking, what have I said wrong? What have I said wrong? And I realised I should have, what should I have said? Meringue. Meringues. I should have said meringues, but I called them mangarines because I'm an idiot. So anyway, people, feast your eyes on my mangarine. That, uh, <laughs> what is it? Meringue. meringue. Still can't say it. Feast your eyes on my meringue. Look at that booty. Look at that. Oh, what's on this? Pecan nut or no. uh, uh, pistachio? Uh, who? Pistachio. pistachio nuts. Look at that. Pistachio nuts. 
Now the good thing about this folks, is that it's quite solid on the outside. Can you hear that? For the visually impaired, I'm holding it with one hand and knocking it with a knuckle on the other. <laughs> oh. She's right. just sitting there giggling away. I think she's been smoking stuff again. <laughs> no, she don't smoke that. She won't she won't do that. June's too proper. Right, I'm gonna try and break. Ah, look at that. Now then. It's not hard, but I was trying to break it so it wasn't. But inside, it's all gooey. Look at that. Goo, goo, Barley McGrew. Look. Inside, it's ch you do meringues like this, don't you, June? I do. June's got lovely meringues. And that is chewy. June does exactly the same thing, don't you? Mm -hmm. How do you do it, June? Secret. It's a secret that cannot be told. What is a mangarine? Uh, it's just sugar and just sugar egg and egg white, white isn't it? Mm. But how they get that to be Do you want to try a bit, June? No. Why? Go on then. So that's bread and butter pudding, <laughs> pelican slice, and something else. And now, she's having part of my mangarine. Oh, it's not though, is it? Yeah, you, what, you want that bit there? Or do you I'm want the sure bigger you bit? you spare it. Do you want the bigger bit? No. No. But look, folks, it's just all gooey here, look. That is the gooeyness. For the visually impaired, I'm holding up a bit of goo at the camera. It is chewy, chewy, not chewy. Melts in the mouth. Melts in the mouth. <coughs> it is absolutely brilliant. Right. And you get the hint of the uh, pistachio as well. They also did, what was the other flavour I had the other day? Raspberry? Raspberry, yeah. And they just do the plain ones. They do just a plain one, so. Well. Should be having that bit of cream on it. All right. Cream on it. It's just lovely, and even though it's a lot of sugar in it, sometimes you'll eat stuff with sugar in it. And it hurts your teeth. <coughs> Sorry. That's all right, June. If you've got a cough, you've got a cough. The meringue got me. The meringue got her. I'll get her later. I sucked instead of blue. <laughs> But these are absolutely brilliant. How much were they, Jim? I don't know. You got the receipt there, I'll put it on the table. That's for a shop. That's for something else. That ain't it. Well, anyway. Right, right. Whatever the charge, as long as it ain't something stupid. Well, I'll give you a... I'll give you... It was £7.20 something for... Cheese straw, pecan tart, and a meringue. So they are on the pricey side, but yeah, worth it. And to be honest, that isn't one portion, is it? You'll just no. Um, when you're on holiday, you spend more anyway, don't you? So it, it's not really the, the issue. I mean, as long as it ain't five pound for a mangarine, um, th there is no problem with it. But um, how much was it? Seven pound what? £25. £7.25 for three items, so I suppose it is a little bit pricey, but when you look into how many staff they've got, uh, the running, of the, yeah, the running of the premises, uh, because it ain't cheap, we actually looked at a one bedroom cottage, we found a one bedroom cottage in uh, Alvaro, and um, it was nothing special, it was just a nice little looking cottage, one bedroom, you know, here we go, they weren't even off-road parking. 360,000 bloody pounds they wanted. 360,000 pounds. What planet are they living on where they think somebody can go and pay 
£360,000 for a bloody one bedroom cottage with off no parking. It, unbelievable. I couldn't even walk through the door. The door was about three foot six. Alice in Wonderland would have had to eat that thing where it says eat me and then drink me to get in it. It was ridiculously small. It was like a Wendy house. I honestly can't believe that somebody's going to pay £360,000 for a house that is about eight foot tall and six foot wide and you can't even get in. You couldn't even get it. Right, even if you bought it, you won't be able to have furniture that you could take through the door. It would have to be dismantled and then put in and then put back together. It was ridiculous. Lovely little looking cottage. Um, what? Well, I bet it was a graded building. You couldn't do bubble up to it. So you couldn't even put double glazing in or anything like that to insulate it. It would just be what it is. And it was opposite, opposite a fish and chip shop. So it stinks of fish and chips all the while. And we've got tourists outside nicking your parking spaces all the while. So... And Greg, oh, look at that house. Yeah. So anyway, folks. I've got it here. One bedroom terrace house. One bedroom terrace house. June's, the research team's brought it back up. 360,000. Hello, I've just told them that. Yeah, I'm just back on. Situated at the southern end of Oldborough High Street, Rosemary Cottage is a charming one bedroom, grade two listed mid terrace cottage featuring many original features. Rosemary Cottage. Look it up on Right Move or. The right stuff, or whatever it were. It's a holiday let. This cottage holiday let. A successful holiday let. Well. Oh, there might be off road parking. There is a right of way access to the rear of the property. That's not parking, there is Right it? of way access to the rear. It's your back alley. Yeah. As long as you've got access to the back alley, then you might be alright. Want to see a picture of it? Hold a picture up to the camera, June. Don't let them see your fingers or anything, will you? I'm not bothered about my sausage fingers. Is it on there? Where is? The one in the middle. In fact, if you just look it up on your own website thing, what is it called? Right, move. No. Moran. No! Name of the cottage, Rosie what? Rosemary Cottage. Oh, and that's a thing for you folks. June has found a lady on YouTube called Rosary, Rosie, Rosie Loves Interiors. Look her up, she's absolutely hilarious. She's a bit like me, only she's got bigger boobs and hair and stuff, but she doesn't edit. She's really, really funny. Rosie loves interiors. Give her a chance. Give her a go. Go and subscribe to her. She's bloody brilliant. Um, all right, folks. I'm going to sit here and eat the rest of my meringue. And uh, I'll see you later.